The next pattern in the Dealing with Generalization series is again very similar to the previous patterns. This one is called Pull-Up Constructor Body. The motivation here is that you have constructors on subclasses with mostly identical bodies, and you can create a superclass constructor and call that from the subclass constructors. So here again we have our employee class, which has some common fields, name and ID. Then we have a couple of specific subclass implementations of it. Uh, manager also has a grade, and an engineer doesn't. And they each have their own constructors, which take the three fields for manager or two for engineer that are relevant to those implementations. Now what we see here in this pattern is that we're setting these same values in two different constructors here. And we could probably generalize that up to the employee class. In fact, since these fields exist on the employee class, that's probably where they should be set anyway. So what we'll do here is create a protected constructor so that the subclasses can call it. Give it the same common signature. Now, of course, this is telling us that employee doesn't contain a constructor that takes zero arguments. That's true. And so what we need to do now before this will even compile is make use of that. And so we'll use constructor training, uh, constructor chaining, sorry. And now at this point, we could recompile and run all of our tests we'd see that the behavior hasn't really changed. And then as the next step of the refactoring, we take out these redundant setters. And that's it. We've moved the constructor body up to the class which holds those fields. And now each subclass simply needs to invoke that constructor. That's it for the pull-up constructor body pattern. Thanks for watching.